Okay, welcome back everybody to the Home Inspection YouTube channel. Today we got a weird day today, man. My day is going to be all over the place. So starting off, uh, we have a 19, I don't know, 60s or something, but there's no pictures online and I think it's like a, a an inside deal or something. So I just know we're going to be walking into some sort of mess. So. Uh, or it could be the other way around and it's perfect and it's already been flipped or something But I don't think that's gonna be it. So hopefully we're gonna find some really good stuff to show you guys uh, and um, Things that you would see that you would walk into for a flip after that I actually have something else that's going on. I kind of started a side project It's like a solar screen business and I should be able to go help my worker not worker but i'd say business partner my business partner uh down south on installing some screens so uh let's start this day and let's go check it out coming up to the top here good looking roof um it's taking a little bit of damage over here from the trees scraping across so We'll report on some granule loss. Um, they're still performing. It's definitely want to let the client know about it. Uh, they have some prior repairs. Uh, Texas makes us requires us to call out any type of prior repairs. You can see in, uh, actually quite a bit of prior repairs around the chimney. So we're gonna definitely want to make sure that we check if that in the attic space, and then also. Also, obviously, we need to report on the, the mortar cap. You definitely want to repair that. Easy area for water to get in the property. The client obviously didn't want us, well, asked us not to do the pool, which is good. Uh, we wouldn't be able to do this anyways. We'd refer it out, and, we, and if they did pay for it, we'd actually just refund the money and give it back to them because we can't do anything with that pool. Another good spot to always take a look at is around the service mass easy area for water to penetrate uh, to the property and you always want to make sure all the vines and everything are trimmed away from the service wires so looking at the exterior one of the things that you want to keep an eye on is uh, painted brick when you have a painted brick the a lot of contractors actually do this to cover things up but this one has actually had foundation repairs if you can see all this freshly disturbed soil around the structure you see how it's raised up around the property, evidence of foundation repair, but also there's some, uh, the cutouts around the front of the garage, which I can show you. One thing you definitely wanna make sure you do though is always, water will always cause more foundation movement. So your gutters, you wanna position them 36 inches away. You can already see that the soil's starting to erode, this fresh soil and water traveling underneath the slab will even though you've had foundation repair it will um, it'll just move again looks like there's evidence of previous termite treatments but actually several different ones you know one two and then look there's an old one there too as well so several foundation treatments of it not foundation sorry uh, termite treatments but then also this slab's actually been leveled more than one time this is actually an old um, repair here so something to bring to the client's attention as well uh, as a home inspector we can't see underneath the ground but we actually have PVC drain pipes which is actually really good one thing we want to do is just bring that to the client's attention so they can ask questions to see if all the home has been repaired not just from the structure uh, to the street but hopefully they redid all the underground plumbing too as well whenever they were level in the foundation so uh, if you see this this is a good sign but just don't stop there make sure you ask more questions uh, to the home flippers another positive thing about this flip is they have brand new windows they have the uh, vinyl windows which is really good most of the time they'll they'll save money and they not replace the windows at all so this is uh this looks really good so so far what we notice is you have a pretty good looking roof they've done underground plumbing they have new windows you have newer plumbing on the exterior we don't know about the interior yet just started walking around so uh, this one does not look too bad so. 
So on the back here too, just like we were mentioned before, you know, you want to fix the grating and drainage. You can fix the foundation slab all day, but you also, you, you need to fix the drainage because the slab will move again in the, in the near future. Another thing too about the foundation treatment or termite treatment too as well is, you know, this is obviously a new uh, cutout for the foundation treatment, but you also have new termite holes. So there's this termite treatment is actually new to the structure, which is a good sign too as well. Walking around to the back side of the structure, you can see they redid the plumbing or underground plumbing on this side too as well. So leading us to believe they may have done the whole house but still you want to make sure you ask further questions. How far did they go underneath the slab? Also, um, you can see the foundation repair in the back as well. They've done the whole structure. You can even see the raised soil bed over there where Tyler's walking. So they, uh, they re-leveled the whole house, which is nice, but also you can still see the grading and drainage. It's still off. And you can even see the soil line starting to erode away from the lack of gutters. So that being said, yes, it's fine now, but you will eventually have slab movement again in the future. So this is something that they definitely want to work on if they purchase this property moving in. All right, Tyler found an interesting find over here. So on this outdoor outlet here, whenever you go to uh, trip the GFCI on that, it's actually cutting off the condenser here on the other side. So go over here to the electrical panel. <coughs> And right here, this is the breaker that's tripped. It's labeled for the living room plugs and lights. So turn that back on. The condenser is coming back on over there. Um, but you have here, this one is the one labeled for the condenser. And this one is still tripping it as well. Electrician needed. So actually that kind of falls into other things too as well. Whenever you're inspecting a property, you know, you're always staying vigilant you know listening everything that you do can affect the house so him tripping that gfci we just heard that small click over there and to make sure it wasn't a coincidence we actually did it multiple times just to make sure the ac wasn't just cutting off at the same time so really good find on tyler's part it's a experienced find i would say while well, tyler opens up the uh the panel box over there check out our uh our sweet swimming pool you got, you got some tadpoles in there and some frogs. It's a, a nice koi pond. So Tyler opening up the panel box, one of the things that we notice is that breaker that was tripping in there. It uh, has about three wires going into one side of the breaker. These, uh, these uh, Square D breakers, they're actually rated to have two wires in it. As you can see right here, you can have one wire for each side, but it's kind of hard to get the camera back there, but you can't have multiple wires on one side of the breaker. It's actually rated to one wire per side of the lug. So um, good find and that probably has, the double wired breaker probably has something to do with why the, the condenser's shutting off over there. You know, it's our job just to find the problem. We'll let the electrician figure it out. Check this out. The city inspector approved the uh, installation, which is pretty funny. Another thing, there's several things wrong with this condenser, but one of the things that we noticed walking by it, you can feel the heat coming off this unit. So it probably has something the way, the way it was wired. I mean, this would be a really great infrared camera uh, photo. Maybe we can get one for you guys. All right, Tyler was just snooping around back here and uh, he found termites. He's gonna show us. Well, in that little bit of time, they... Oh, they already dove back down? Yeah. There they are. Oh, wait. Yep. Moving around in there. So, so it's actually uh, really good just to do some, you know, I know we're just here for the property, but it, any homeowner would always want to know if there's termites around the structure. So check sheds, wood piles, fence posts, 
stuff like that and that can really help inform the client that what they're walking into and know that termites are in the area it's good that the property's been treated like three times but a really good spot on Tyler's part real quick while we're in the attic uh, with the furnace just listen to it real quick and you can see down there uh, the uh, the gas line you can see how out of balance it is and the flue is too close to the roof structure and also the coil box looks different too so you have different coils different condenser different furnace type and then also a uh, a flue that's too close the blower's out of balance this hvac's obviously not installed correctly at all you, you have the breakers not wired properly so we definitely this is going to be one of the most major concerns for moving in for the homeowner this is um not a good job Okay, leaving this one, I'm gonna head to uh, the uh, the screen job to see how Ernesto's doing. But that that being said, on this one, I uh, flip home. The three things that stick out to me is obviously the HVAC, the most expensive thing that they're probably gonna run into right now. And then you have uh, the grading and drainage around the structure, and then also the electrical uh, to the property. They've done a lot, replaced all the plumbing, they replaced uh, the roof overall looks pretty good. Foundation's been worked on. Underground plumbing looks like it's done. So really the biggest thing that they're gonna walk into is that HVAC system and the electrical. They need to make sure that's done correctly because that can create some livability issues and possibly fire. Let's head up, let's head up to Humble. One other thing on the drive, uh, I, know, I, f I know I forgot to mention the termites. Um, Termites on the list of three things that are the major I would actually not even really consider it in the major category because the property has been treated three times So I'm not too worried about the termites really making it to the structure and if they do The amount of damage they're gonna cause is very minimal. So it's really those three other major items, you know the foundation not <laughs> grading and drainage, electrical, and uh, the HVAC system. So all of those are the most important to keep this home maintained and operating in peak conditions, I would say. All right, let's, uh, let's check out this screen job. Quick uniform change. Uh, my brother designed this logo, if you can check it out. Look at that, and then also he did the, uh, the bulldog there. I think I uh, chose a shirt too small. I should have gone with like a a medium probably uh, the jobs back there Ernesto has a little bit of it done already uh, he went to go get some screws he'll be back in a second and he, he's gonna build some screens for us and we're gonna watch him put them up and I'm gonna help him out where he needs but this is kind of like how my day was I was in Bel, Bel Air then we came up to Humble and then we're gonna drive all the way down to Pearland to do another job so a busy day but that's just the life of an entrepreneur we like to drive all over Houston and and make money. If you do need any solar screens, please give us a call and uh, you can find us at Bulldog Solar Screens Plus. You can just look us up and we should, we're the first thing that shows up. Okay, coming to the end of this work day, it was pretty tough, hot, it's getting very hot. But anyways, uh, we're coming up with better plans on how to make those solar screens. We're gonna bring them in to the office, put the solar screens on a roller so it uh, can make them more efficiently inside and uh, better cutting tools too as well for the corners. Uh, but overall, uh, pretty good day successful jobs going up and successful home inspections going so uh, that's uh, that's really good and um, yeah that's it so if you have any questions or any home inspection questions please drop the question in the comment section and hit that like button and please always subscribe and catch us on the next one thanks guys bye